Happy headlines. Death Eaters sent to Azkaban. That's a happy headline. seen Malfoy? When? Just now. He's always hanging around on this corridor. And I just found this. It looks like instructions for a potion. It's probably homework. And since when has Malfoy put effort into his homework? You don't even know it's his. I'm going to ask Hermione what this potion is. I bet that will give us a clue to what Malfoy is up to. You're in luck. She's swatting in potions now. Careful. She's still in the right mood. So you won't come with me then? I think I'd rather face that troll we saw in our first year. See you later. Hi, Nick. Have you seen Hermione anywhere? Why, yes! Miss Granger is studying in the potions classroom. Wingardium Leviosa! Libraries Liberate. You speak the password, so may pass. Hello, Hermione. Do you recognize this potion? I'm surprised you don't recognize it, seeing as you're top in potions. It's obvious what this is. So, what is it? Why ask me? You should ask the Half-Blood Prince. All right, I will. Well, I can make the potion and find out anyway. Shredded Boomslang skin. Unlucky Boomslang. Lacewing flies. <laughs> Flash. 
slaps me. Back again, are we, Harry? And a splendid polyjuice potion you're making. But I do hope you're not intending to take it. It is a restricted potion. You're sure it's polyjuice, sir? Of course, that grey and sludgy finish, all characteristic. But then you should know, my lad, you made it. Uh, I was just experimenting. Thanks, sir. Polyjuice potion? You use that if you want to look like someone else. I wonder what Malfoy would want with that. Voldemort? isn't going to trust Malfoy with a mission. You haven't got a scrap of evidence, have you? No, not yet. But I'll get something. Dumbledore wants you to go to his office for another lesson. Harry... When you see Dumbledore, don't say anything about Malfoy. He's up to something. He's sneaking around and he's even ditched Crabbe and Goyle. Yes, I admit that is out of character. But you don't have evidence that he's doing anything. If he's not, then why is he sneaking around the seventh floor and... The seventh floor? That's it! He's using the Room of Requirement! That's why he keeps disappearing off the Marauder's map. Well, if he is using the room, you won't be able to see what he's doing in there. That's why we used it for DA meetings. Concentrate on your lesson with Dumbledore. He's waiting for you in his office. Hey, Nick! Hurry along there, Harry. You better make your way to the entrance hall courtyard, unless you want to keep Professor Dumbledore waiting. Dumbledore. I am too. Are you alright? Come on, what's the matter? It's silly. A Slytherin stole my gobstone. It's a noisy hit and my mum got me for Christmas. Who was it? Him. Wait here. I'll get your gobstone back. Hey, did you take a noisy hitter from the girl over there? What's it got to do with you? Give it back. 
What are you going to do? Jinx me? I'm sure Professor Snape would love to know you've been jinxing Slytherins. He might even give you detention. Stupefy! Stupefy! Expelliarmus! Now hand over that noisy hitter. I hope it gobs all over you. And next time, think twice before you bully someone. Here you are. Thanks. Harry, you're the best. Uh, acid pops. Good evening, Harry. Professor, about Malfoy and Snape. Professor Snape. I've told you, Harry, I trust Severus. My answer has not changed. No. To the business at hand. I have not been able to find many memories of Tom Riddle at Hogwarts. I did, however, find this one. Good gracious, look at the time. Off you go, boys. The strange Avery, don't forget your essays. Look sharp there, Tom. No, Tom, I don't know anything about war crunches. And I wouldn't tell you if I did. Now get out of here. I don't understand. What happened? Professor Slughorn has tampered with his memory. Harry, I asked you to get to know Professor Slughorn. Now I want you to persuade him to divulge his true memory any way you can. That memory is everything. But I believe you have Quidditch practice. You'll find your way there more easily now the orders have opened more of the castle. Good day, Harry. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Mischief managed. Hello, Harry. Professor McGonagall's looking for you. Do you know what she wants? No, but she's waiting for you in the Transfiguration Courtyard. Sounded important. Professor McGonagall is in the Transfiguration Courtyard at the moment. You should make your way there. I wanted to talk to you after the unfortunate events at the Burrow over Christmas. Why is it always you? Mm -hmm. When something happens? Believe me, Professor. I've been asking myself that for years. I heard you've joined the dueling club, Harry. I think you should follow his example, and the Weasleys, too. You can't be too prepared. Don't limit yourself to your friends in Gryffindor, mind. Ah, here's the person we were waiting for. Hi, Harry. Alanis here is captain of the Ravenclaw Dueling Club. You come along with me, Miss Granger, and we'll sign you up with Gryffindor Dueling Club. Would you like to practice casting Levy Corpus with us? I've always wanted to learn that spell. Okay. <laughs> Levy Corpus! Thanks, 
for teaching us that. Be careful though, you might find some Ravenclaws casting at you in future duels. Let's try a proper duel while you're here. Ravenclaws junior champion against Harry Potter. that Harry. As a special member's privilege, you can use that portrait shortcut over there. The password is light against darkness. Why don't you try our dueling challenge? Just go to the notice board when you're ready to give it a go. I believe you're due at a Quidditch training session. I am rather hoping Gryffindor will win the Quidditch Cup this year. Get yourself along there, Potter. Great Quidditch teams are not built on tardiness. Nick? Miss Ginny Weasley is waiting with the rest of your team down at the Quidditch pitch. I would hurry along and join them if I were you. Light against darkness. <coughs> pass, friend. I must change that password.
Well done, everyone. Personally, I think we need a better defence. The other teams have got really good keepers. We haven't a luxury. Ron's doing better than you could, McLaggen. Just offering some friendly advice. One keeper to another. Well, take your advice out of our training room. You're not on the team, McLaggen. Hello, Harry. Are you ready for potions? I've looked, but I can't find anything on Horcruxes in the library. I've been thinking. Maybe, if you make a really good potion in today's lesson, it will put Professor Slughorn in a good mood. Then he might tell you what he's hiding from Dumbledore. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Oh no! McLaggen! He makes Grawp look like a gentleman. I'll see you in potions. Hey, Granger! Granger! So, is she seeing McLaggen? Well, they went to Slughorn's Christmas party together, but it didn't go well. Yeah? Come on, let's go after my... Let's go to potions. Hello, Potter. I'm a member of the finest duelling club in Hogwarts, Slytherin. We've noticed that you're quite the duelist. I therefore permit you to challenge me to a duel. Uh, no thanks. We're on our way to potions. I'm not asking you, Potty. I'm telling you. Stupefy! Expelliarmus! Levicorpus! I didn't really try anyway. Come along to our dueling club in the paved courtyard for a real challenge. Why is Slytherin such bad losers? Come on, let's go to potions. into a wall in Quidditch or something. What's the matter? Someone's done something to my books. And the stupid things won't stop flying around. Come down! Right. Have you tried anything other than shouting at them? Like Wingardium Leviosa? No. I wish one one was here. He'd do something. Have you seen him? No. Here, if I cast Wingardium Leviosa on your bag, I can try and catch the books in it. Books. Thank you. 
down here, you stupid bugs! Ron? Uh, yeah, I have. He was in the divination tower. Why would he go there? He doesn't do divination anymore. He said he wanted to ask something important about his future. It must be about us. That's why I like my one one so much. He's always thinking about us. Thanks. Are you ready for potions, one one? Pack it in. Quickly now, quickly, we have lots of work to get through, starting with antidotes. Now, what about this poison here? Any suggestions? Miss Granger, of course. It requires a very complex antidote, but I think you should start with a drop of castor oil. Good, good. Harry, my boy, any suggestions? Uh, yeah, you could do that. Or you could just shove a bazaar down the victim's throat. Yes, yes. A bizarre would certainly do the trick. Excellent, my boy, excellent. <laughs> a good potion maker always knows how to counteract the potions they are making. Which brings us to the task at hand. Brewing an elixir to induce euphoria. Can induce excessive singing and nose tweaking if you... Don't put enough peppermint in. Mint sprigs. Rhythm thing. Tom Riddle, didn't you? Mr. Riddle had many teachers whilst here at Hogwarts. I know, sir. You must get fed up of questions about Voldemort and Horcruxes. I'd ask you not to talk about this subject. But, sir... Dumbledore put you up to this, didn't he? Didn't he? I just want to know about Tom Riddle. You could have given me a bazaar. I need a good mark in potions. I had to soften Slughorn up so I could ask about Voldemort. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get something to eat. McGonagall wants to see you in the Astronomy Tower. So why would she send someone from Slytherin? I'm not your personal messenger. Go and ask her yourself. But the Aura shut the Astronomy Tower. 
Then they've obviously reopened it, haven't they? I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Mischief managed.